Hello, hello, and welcome to A Life More Boaty. We are here today with the lovely people at Approved Power Boats in the UK to have a look at the Aquila 44. What an incredible boat this is. Now, catamarans are obviously famous for having a lot, a lot of space because of the beam you get. And we will have a look at the engines because it's quite interesting, but we're going to start on the stern here. You can hear that running water, that's just a generator running. Obviously, catamaran has two sponsons either side. As you can see, it's got a raised sunbathing area over here. And you'll also notice on the back there, we have a crane so you can lift the dinghy in and out of the water. And if I step aboard here, you can see the dinghy actually, there's some davits that fix on here. And then this little crane up here, you can use to hydraulically lift your dinghy in and out. Now we're on board, you can see massive, great big entry points into this truly fabulous cockpit space. And again, the beam, bearing in mind this is only 44 foot, the beam is just insane. St uh, storage and engine access down here, really lovely aft dining space, partially covered by the overhang of the flybridge extension here. And then there is storage underneath these lockers. So effectively these lift up, they're lined lockers in there for storage. And if you want this table here, can drop down and infill for sunbathing and you'll notice that there's another sponsor down here this one's got the bathing ladder access point and you can see the gate is closed and we have two Glendenning cable storage systems down here and look at this lovely fair lead down here and then because you've got the ability you can have really wide side decks beautiful absolutely beautiful so the bar area here so here we've got the kitchen effectively running out into the entertaining space with a couple of plug-in dining stools and again more access and storage in there. Flybridge steps are over there and there's an interesting thing about access to the flybridge which we'll look at on the way out and then this fantastic door that hinges open to make this aft dining area flow beautifully out into the cockpit. I don't know where you can see it because it's a bit dark in here but this beautiful walnut flooring. So from a galley perspective, again, you can serve out into the cockpit, which is really neat. There's a double sink here. We've got electric ceramic hob, Whirlpool combination microwave up there, plenty of storage. There is storage down below here as well. And then over here we have a couple of combi fridge freezers. So basically you can choose whether you want that to be a fridge or a freezer. And then you see neatly stacked up and then Lots and lots of storage dotted around the place. Distribution panels in here. One there and another one in there. Things like the generators, water systems and the like. And then there's access down to the cabins on both sides. Down there, which we'll have a look at in a moment. And again, tons more storage in the recesses here under the floor. Internal dining space here. And again, that table can drop down if you want it to to create more storage, or sort of a day bed if you like. Again, loads more storage over here. I'm not gonna open every cupboard because you get the, an idea of what storage is about. There's a pop-up TV that pops up out of here and just look at the windows. And again, the headroom, you know, I'm one meter 70 and there's tons and tons of headroom. It's such an open space. You'll also notice over here, there is a helm station forward downstairs. This is optional, it's not a standard feature, so you can choose it if you want it. It tends to be a popular option in sort of the UK and more northern climes. Beautiful little helm seat in here. And then your usual bits you'd expect, forward pendant controls, wheel, radio, MFD. And again, a really, a really good view forwards. So we will head forwards first because we are here. Now this obviously, this there's a door here that slides across and completely covers in this master cabin, but this is just spectacular. Now, as we come in here, I want to remind you that this, sorry, they're tooting the horns because the show is opening. This is a 44 foot boat, and this is the master cabin. To start with, you get this incredible center line bed. And again, plenty of headroom here. I'm one meter 70. And then plenty of sitting up room over the bed. And then down here, we have a dressing area. Vast wardrobe space down there. 
then a desk down here little vanity unit lots more storage over here beautifully set in massive great big wardrobe in here which if i'm right includes a washer dryer and then tons of light flooding in through these hull windows there's deck hatches as well above us there's superstructure windows up here clever use of mirrors there to uh, bounce the light around back to the main cabin and then over the other side past this lovely built-in tv we have a couple of steps down again more storage in here takes us to the master heads blue lovely designed vanity unit with a decent sized mirror loads of intricate storage in there and then full size separate shower down in here and again plenty of lighting additional storage up here hull window so this is the master cabin on a 44 foot boat just spectacular you could easily easily live on board this with a number of people actually i don't know if i can open this i'm going to try can i open it yeah there you go so look at that absolutely tons of storage down there so back to the galley so we're back in the main saloon effectively and then we will head down this staircase again another sliding door so these doors pocket doors slide right the way across so you can completely enclose these cabins down here I'm just going to pick this up for them takes us into effectively matching cabin number two but again decent size full-size double berth beautifully finished in this walnut and again big hull windows I mean we are in Southampton so it's not quite the med but you get the idea of lying in bed if you're lying in bed this is your view out of that window plenty of storage again lovely bed and tons of headroom I mean the lowest point in this cabin is here and then directly across from the stairwell over here we have our own ensuite again beautifully finished loads of light from those hull windows overhead ventilation as well self-contained shower really nicely finished out so we go back up the stairs directly across to the other side where we have a pretty much matching cabin so there you go similar size slightly smaller possibly double berth again with wardrobe space here storage space over there similar if not more head from this side and that feels like a bigger window but I'm guessing it's the same size window and then behind us here very similar setup with the heads loo vanity unit and basin hull window and shower so there you go that's cabin number two of the three back to the main saloon back out through the cockpit door and what we're actually going to do is we're going to yeah we're going to do the four deck first i do apologize when you hear the wind but up on this super wide four deck fantastic grab rail here giving you access all the way forwards and you can see these deck hatches that we looked at when we were down below to this pretty big four deck really neat that they've got little seats down here you have access and storage underneath here anchor storage access down here another big locker over here and for the sake of it i'm going to pick up one of these and have a look just out of interest i suspect this is the anchor winch he says if i can work out how to open it there you go yeah there you go absolutely massive locker running pretty much whole front of that boat section so i'll shut that down and the other neat thing is i do apologize for the wind is you can go and access to the flybridge up these steps which is just fantastic if you are single-handed boating 
just got to work out how to open it. Oh, it's just a pull. Oh, I'm going to step over it anyway. So that takes us from the foredeck, as you can see, up to this beautiful central helm station. So let me just get out of my own shadow here, I think. With loads and loads of sociable seating all the way around. And a fantastic large hard top. So from a helm station perspective, you've got the throttle controllers, the Volvo Penta engine control system, Raymarine MFT, and probably depth sounder and autopilot, fusion stereo, fire suppression system down there, and bow thruster. Now I'm told that this has a bow thruster on both pods or both hulls effectively. If I move back over here, get myself out of the wind, then there's this brilliant flybridge dining system up here, fridge down there, storage, and then underneath here we have a grill, prep area and a sink. And then behind us, as you've probably already noticed, is massive, again, dining table with cushions being blown around all over the place. So we will head back downstairs and see if we can get a peek in one of the engine bays. Right, bear with me, I'm just going to try and open this engine hatch, hang on. So there you go, that's the engine hatch up, and what that does allow you is it does allow you access to the engine bay quite easily, and you can also see in there, I duck down a bit here, fuel tanks, and then in here we have a Volvo Penta D4 320. Now that is going to give you a really comfortable 20 knots max speed, but interestingly, if you drop that all the way back down to something in the region of 8 knots, you're going to get around 980 miles. So that's a long, long, comfortable cruise, really comfortable cruise on a boat like this because the stability that a catamaran gives you is pretty much amazing. And at those speeds you can live a normal life without all the stress and strains of a banging hull that you'd normally get. So there you go. So I'll leave you with the view of the Southampton Ocean Village Boat Show and say thank you very much to the guys and girls at Proof Boats for letting us have a look around. Do please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time around. Thank you very much for watching.